Veteran Republican and Mass Live photographers Don Trieger and Dave Roback typically let the camera do the talking for them. But after taking nine awards for their work at the recent New England Newspaper and Press Association honors, we took this as an opportunity to let them do some of the talking for themselves. I asked Trieger about what he looks for in a photo. It's not always the person you're photographing. It's not always the thing. Sometimes it's the background. We don't want things growing out of your head. We don't want that tree, those tree branches growing out of your head in the back <laughs> of a photograph. An extra limb. Exactly. And sometimes there are elements in a picture that just tell a story besides your, the, the person you're photographed. And, and that's really important. Sometimes it's not, it's what's behind or surrounding a person in the environment. So, so not always what would jump to mind maybe for the amateur photographer. No, and also you're looking at a person's expression if you're photographing a person and you're looking to tell a story with the photo. You're just not snapping a picture for a picture's sake. You just, you know, you want to get something a little bit more out of it. Yeah. So. Well, congratulations to you both. You took home, between the two of you, nine awards at the New England Newspaper and Press Association Awards recently. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to have some fun and look at some of those photos, which, you know, lots of different categories here. But let's start, let's start with spot news. An alligator photo takes third place? I want to, that's, that to me is a first place photo. Just... I thought it was going to be a This came out of a Springfield too. backyard for folks who don't remember. Talk about what's going on in this image. We, got, we heard a scanner call. Uh, we, we keep a scanner on in the office, a police scanner. And this was actually in, in West Springfield. And um, we, we heard a call of an alligator in a backyard. And so your ears perk up a little bit. That's an unusual call. And yeah. so. I said to Dave, we were both sitting in the office, I said, I'll go check it out. You keep listening to the scanner. Let me know if you hear a further address or anything. So I went and... Uh, <laughs> were you surprised <laughs> to see this? I've never seen anything like this, Carrie. It was incredible. The alligator was in the backyard. It was, I guess, well taken care of. It was a family pet. Yeah, the, the, the reporter said that it had been there for over 20 years. In incredible. And so we had to wait a long time. It was a hot summer day, and we had to wait a long time for the animal control people to come and, and, and come up with a plan. And they finally grabbed it. And I was lucky. They let me get close. And sometimes that's half the game is access. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was able to make this picture. It uh, something I've never seen in all my years, and I just was. You'll probably was, never see again. Probably yeah. not. No. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> so for you, Dave, a first place. You took first place for a portrait photo of two World War II veterans. How did you snap this image? Um, basically, actually, the this was in East Longmeadow, and it was supposed to be outside but it was raining so they were trying to figure out if they were actually still going to have it outside or inside and these folks were waiting and then they finally said well it's going inside well talking to them one guy is 91 and a half and the other guy is 94 and the guy who was 91 and a half says yes that half a year is very important so you know just Making up a conversation with the gentleman, I got to, you know, talk to him a little bit. And then they started talking with each other, and I said, hmm, that, you know, that just makes a nice picture. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And you wonder, you know, what, what it is that they're talking about. It really draws you into the photo. Yes. And a general news photo for you, Mr. Trieger, at the sheriff's, the sheriff's win. Just pure joy in this photo. This, this was camp uh, election night, and... This was actually a picture I took just by holding the camera out here. I wasn't even looking through the viewfinder. It's kind of, we call them Hail Mary shots, you know? And, and you, you try to get lucky, and literally was, the camera was over here in, in front of them. And uh, I did get lucky because it was in focus. And so those Hail Mary shots, is that something that you used to shoot before the days of digital too, or were you too worried about wasting film? No, you always <laughs> used to, you, you take a chance. And you hope for the best. Mm -hmm. And like I said before, I mean, it's a little easier with autofocus before you had a pre-focus and just point and hope and look through the film and say, yeah, I got it. Or nope, we'll try better next time. And so was it chance with the first place win for the summer photo of the young boy swimming? No, it was not. <laughs> no? Tell me. Um, basically, uh, this was a heat wave in the beginning of June. And so, you know, we have our favorite spots that we go to, and this is Hamden Ponds. And there wasn't that many people on the beach, but there was a couple of people swimming. So basically, you let them do their own thing. You take out a long lens and you just, you know, 
wait for something to happen. And I was lucky enough where this kid was just frolicking in the water and it made a pretty good shot. And you have an incredible water photo as well. <laughs> if I was going to put a photo caption on this, it would just be, yippee! I mean, he's incredible. He's so adorable. This is the Dock Dog event at Dave's Soda in Petfood City. They've been doing it every year now. It's a traveling show. Local people can have their dogs jump off a dock. They, they set up a big pool in the parking lot and uh, they're judged for distance and the owner throws a frisbee or a toy and the dog jumps in and gets it. Now this is, this is an example of how technology has come over the years. Years ago, before of autofocus and follow focus lenses, I probably couldn't have made this picture. Why? Um, because you have to be too good to, folk, to, to move that lens and, and follow something coming right at you. That dog was coming right at me. Mm. And it's really hard. I just was never good enough at that. But technology now... I don't has, think you're giving yourself enough credit, Technology but okay. now has made it that I, I can make that picture every day if I had to. And uh, just, it's just a godsend. <laughs> and again, that really brings us there. You have an animal photo as well. There's a frog scaling this gentleman's face. <laughs> What's going on here? This was at the Springfield Museums, and uh, this, has, this guy, gentleman has a, a rescue animal show that he brings around. And I wasn't prepared for this. I'm standing in the wings, and all of a sudden he says, you know, I've got this little fellow with me, and it's a tree frog. And I have no idea. I've never seen a tree frog before. And all of a sudden, he sticks it on his face. <laughs> And I think I might have taken two or three frames before it fell off or whatever, but it just, it was one of those things. I had never seen it before, but luckily, you know, standing back and with a long lens, you were able to get both of them in the photo. Great. Well, congratulations on all of the awards. So all of these photos can be seen on Mass Live, or you can do what? You can buy a newspaper, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs>